Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are doing amazing. Today we have a makeup look. We have new makeup. I'm so excited. I've been on Pinterest saving a ton of makeup looks that I would love to recreate and today we're going to be inspired by these two pictures doing a mixture of sort of just like a soft glam bronzy fall look. So if you would like to see the items that I have here, we have quite a lot. I have this clear container that I picked up in Marshalls. We'll disperse the items, use them up, chit chat, get your coffee and let's create a look together. I've separated everything into this really cool rotating um, organizer that I picked up in Marshalls and I find that it's just so great to be able to just see everything so we have some lip products we have some complexion setting sprays we even have a Sol de Janeiro uh, perfume we have mascara eyeliner bronzer we there's a, just a ton of different stuff so let's just get started there's a few items that I don't have so I'm just gonna use some of my favorites and that's gonna be the primer as well as the foundation I don't have a new one of either of those and also brow products before primer, we're going to go in with the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is literally a staple product in my collection because it truly is probably one of the most smoothing primers. And of course, literally this nail just popped off as I'm getting starting to do the video. Love that. For foundation or skin tint, we're going to go in with the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. If you know, you know. This is a staple product of mine. Once again, one of those items that is just in the everyday cabinet i've actually updated in my bathroom and i have a makeup section there which i didn't have before it was usually always all skincare but i've incorporated a little section for everyday makeup just so that i can utilize it and i love it i've actually been using my makeup so much more because it's in a location where i go every single day so once i brush my teeth and wash my face i'll do my skincare and then just kind of do a quick little face for an everyday and it has been such a mood booster you, you know like when you just do things that just make you feel put together for me that's like doing a nice light or quick makeup and then getting dressed those are two things that i'm really trying to incorporate i work from home so it's very very easy to just stay in your pajamas and like not do anything because you're just like why would i but I really have been trying to incorporate getting ready because when I do, I just feel cute. Like, and who doesn't want to feel cute? <laughs> also, I'm filming in a new location. This is my closet room, but it is the room in the house that has the absolute best lighting. The noise is a little, you know, I'm trying to work on that just because we do face the street, but I love the lighting in this room and I just love it's a whole vibe like you can see my clothes behind me I have my wardrobe it's just such a zen room and I love it it just once again one of those places that I just come to get ready and go about my day first product that we're gonna use is the tower 28 serum concealer now this one isn't necessarily a newer product for me I have used it before but I had a color that was just a little too light so I wanted to just get the next shade over for days that I don't necessarily really want a super bright under eye but I'll use a mix of both the colors that I have are OC and then I have LBC now I know that this one is a favorite for so many people and I purchased it I've used it but not enough to really gauge my own opinion on it so definitely want to use it up more but it literally is like in everyone's top concealer list recommendations so you know your girl had to try it taking a little bit of that lighter one just to blend it we love this this stage <laughs> this stage in the makeup process is always just so funny gonna take a concealer brush and we're going to blend that out now that coverage is really really nice and as you can see we have a lot of luminosity we have some dewiness no sparkle just like nice and wet pretty much is kind of how you would be able to describe it which I think would be nice especially for my under eyes specifically I feel like they tend to look really dry so dewy and more luminous looking concealers typically work best but 
really love that and I love that color combo as well it's making me look awake but not too bright now in both pictures none of the under eyes look super super bright so I love that this once again is just going with the vibe one of the things when it comes to the makeup looks and even just like outfits as well for Pinterest I don't necessarily go for recreating the entire look I more so look for inspiration in the pictures that I would love to incorporate into the look that I'm creating so for this one like I mentioned specifically it's the soft glam look but for this first one I really just love like the dewiness and the luminosity in the skin and just the beautiful like muted brownish pinkish tones and in the second picture what I definitely want to incorporate is just like that smoky under eye I think that looks so so stunning as well as the really pretty just like blushy lips and you can see in her cheek area it has a little bit of dew and luminosity to it so definitely want to be able to tie that in and before we powder I do just want to put all of the cream and liquid products down so we're moving on to the bronzer and contour and I finally got my hands on the makeup by Mario soft sculpt bronzing and shaping serum now this has gotten quite the hype on social media and a lot of people really really love it so I'm super excited to try it out just gonna put it on the face where I would typically put now the color that I picked up is medium so I do want to just see what that looks like on the skin and if maybe I might have to go in with a deeper one because this one seems like it's a bit it's a little tan but Sometimes I might want to go just a little darker. So let's just see what that looks like. Gonna take a brush and just start to blend that out and see how it works. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. It also has that serum consistency that the Tower 28 concealer has that I just put on, which I love. I am loving cream liquid and like serum -y products now especially over the summer and just like into fall just feel like they're a lot easier to blend and they just look more natural like you can just put setting powder wherever you need it and if your combination are dry especially I feel like it just makes your skin just look alive which I really love but don't get me wrong I love my matte looks too and I need it especially for like the t-zone because I do get oily but a good cream and liquid products honey we love like look at how nice and bronze wow I actually really really love that and I feel like the color actually looks nice it's not super super intense and another thing to know I believe you can also use it like this yeah so it has a doe foot application so you can just apply straight on if you want to really like this I also think I might just look at the deeper color just in case but pleasantly surprised we love it Next up we have the Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio Blush and Highlighter Palette. Now this palette has three different items inside. We have a cream blush, a cream base, that's a highlighter, and then a powder one. They looked absolutely stunning. This was a product that when it came out, I didn't really think anything of it. But then when I went in store and swatched it, especially this cream highlighter, like when I saw this, I'm like, okay, adding to cart. Now I do have another highlighter that I want to try so what I think I'll do is just I'll put like one side and one side but for this palette specifically we are going to go in with the blush. So I'm just going to take a bit of that on the brush. Oh she is pigmented oh my goodness. Now this one is interesting because it says cream but it has a bit of like kickback kind of like powder so I wonder if it's like a cream to powder but I'm going to just apply a bit of that oh my gosh that is. <laughs> That is pigmented, but wow, that is a stunning, stunning color. Do you guys see that? I'm just gonna pat a little bit on that. Let me look in the mirror, because I'm like, is this a powder or is this a cream? Okay, so I feel like it goes on a bit more like a powder, so I think I would utilize it as a powder more. I'm just gonna take a flat brush like this and kind of just like stamp it on so that it can kind of just go with the cream products that we have underneath but I think that when I use that again I'll definitely be putting that after I set now speaking of setting we have a powder that I am so excited to try about this is the new rare beauty tinted pressed finishing powder and I have the color ivory now that feels absolutely beautiful so we are going to use this to set the under eye I do have my little powder puff right here so I'm gonna just press this in it's been getting some pretty good reviews, but a lot of them have also just like been with Selena Gomez. So, I mean, who's going to say it's bad <laughs> if it is? But I've been hearing a lot of good reviews and it feels nice and blurring. So let's see. I'm going to just press that into the under eye. Kind of reminds me 
of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, I believe it is. Let's look up nice and close. Wow, that actually looks beautiful and it feels so nice and blurry. Wow, I actually really like them. Just gonna set and pat all around. That actually looks stunning <laughs> so now that we've set the face i do want to go in with a new highlighter which i'm so excited about and that is the fenty beauty demi glow light diffusing highlighter and i picked up the color prosecco and this was once again one of those products that i saw in store and i'm like you know it's another highlighter do i really need it like i just kept watching it and it's 40 dollars, so it's kind of pricey but when i swatched it honey i'm like do i need another highlighter I think so because wow this looks beautiful and that was just a swatch so I am dying to try it on the face I'm gonna just take a little bit of that oh that looks beautiful I love a highlight that looks wet you know what I mean a wet looking highlight is just absolutely everything oh wow just trying to make sure that I don't get that white cast <gasps> gorgeous oh my gosh so good and then since it's a powder let's put the tip of the nose which is a staple for me I cannot do highlighter and not put it in the center of the nose put a little bit there that is beautiful Wow and then I know that once I put setting powder and it like blends into the skin but I love how that feels and I, for a fact, know that I'm going to be using that quite a lot. Now, this is without any highlighter, and this is with highlighter. Gorgeous. But, like I mentioned, I do also really want to try the highlighter that's here. We're going to put a bit of that cream first because, honey, she is reflective. Oh, wow. That is more of a icy tone, but that looks stunning. Like this is my type of highlighting product. I have to show you guys like my highlighter favorites because I have a lot of products, a lot of highlighters, and I always go back to specific ones. And this consistency, I know that it's not a popular one, like maybe some folks like more powder ones, but I love a good cream and like liquid jelly type of highlighter just because it gives that wet look and that's what i keep saying so this is the fenty which looks beautiful for a powder it still gives that look but then this one actually gives like the skincare serum vibe and shine like i don't know how to explain it but it is just absolutely gorgeous now going back to the pinterest pictures that we're looking for inspo i love the rosy pinkiness i feel like this one kind of just resembles a bit more of that second picture because i do like the pinkiness of that blush to peek through but the base i am absolutely loving i'm gonna fill in my brows before we move on into eyes now for brows i'm leaning more into that first picture i love that she has the feathered brow look and that is the approach that i want to take a bit more so i just used my she glam duo stick that has a marker end and a pencil end and now i'm just taking the rare beauty brow gel and just getting the brows in place now for the eye look i am going to focus a little bit more towards the first picture but her eyes look like they are fully matte with just a little bit of shimmer in the inner corner but i think i want to do a shimmer topper i have the natasha denona mini starlet palette and when I tell you I literally bought this palette specifically for this beautiful sparkling shade, I swatched it in store. Once again, the danger of shopping in store is like you swatch things and you're just like, oh, this is gorgeous versus like online. It's kind of just like, uh, let me buy it and see if I like it. But in store, it's just a whole different ball game. So I am going to just do a really simple look, honestly, because there's not much happening in the eyes. I think I want to go with just this color first as a transition shade. And as always, Natasha Denona eyeshadow does not disappoint. Always blends out so nicely. Her mattes are so, so good. And her shimmers, depending on the formula, but for the most part, they always sparkle in a way that literally nothing else does. Next, I'm going to take this lighter color and just blend out the outer corner to make sure that everything looks nice and seamless. And then we are jumping into the star of the show, and that is going to be the shimmer shade in the palette. Like, just look at that reflection. Now, this is where I'm putting my own twist to the look because, like I mentioned, none of the two Pinterest looks that I am showing you guys have any shimmer, but I wanted to add this sparkle because, excuse me, but how stunning is that? I'm telling you, a good shimmer on the eye. 
Oh, so good. Now the last thing that I want to do, like I mentioned from the second picture, is that smoky under eye. So I am going to go with the deepest shade in this palette. And we're going to just put that in the lower lash line and just see what happens there. The color of the makeup look that she has is more of a brown, but since I'm utilizing this palette, I'm going to use that color. It's actually a really pretty like smoky purple look. And then I'm just going to go right back into this color and blend that out so it's nice and cohesive. Before we finish off the eyes, I'm going to move into the next product and that is the Natasha Denona Macro Tech Eye Crayon and I got it in the color brown. We're just going to run this across the lower lash line and then as well as to the waterline of the top liner. This literally always makes my eyes water. But it is the best, best, best to making your lashes look fuller, especially if you don't put false lashes on, you just put mascara. Now that is pretty much it for the eyes. Now before I put mascara on and we jump into lips, I do just want to set my face. Now I got these two products and none of them are newer. They literally are repurchases, if that, because I love them so much. The first one we have is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist four in one mint. I really, really love this product. It reminds me so much of the Tatcha Dewy Spray. This one, if you can see, it has some oils in there. So I like to use this one specifically when I have a very mattified look and I just want to bring a little bit of life into it. I don't know necessarily if I would say this is the setting spray that I go for when I want long lasting makeup, but I do know for sure that I love to use this one when, like I said, I want to just bring I just want to make my skin look a little bit more natural so it just kind of brings that beautiful glowy look but a tried and true when it comes to a long lasting makeup is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray what it says on it party all day stay all night is so 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 true because this will keep your makeup all day and i've used it a ton of different times I've learned that the trick to setting spray is putting a good amount of it because when I tell you, your makeup literally will last all day. It really will. So now we have setting spray on and once again, it, this one also does such a good job at just like bringing the skin back to life, especially if you have a lot of powders. This is what the skin is looking like. Look at how beautiful that Fenty one looks, especially with the setting spray over top. The under eyes are still looking amazing and work so well with that setting spray. And then this is the side with the Natasha Denona cream highlighter i am obsessed with everything now let's move into mascara because i love a good mascara this is a repurchase it's the tower 28 make waves mascara and i got the color drift this one actually came in a bundle that i purchased this one is in the brown color which i know a lot of people are so excited about so i don't think i actually have a brown mascara so i'm really excited about that one especially for just like every day but the one that i'll be using today is an og mascara from benefit but i can't cannot tell you when was the last time I used this so I was so intrigued I was in Sephora and I'm like you know what let me use this one and that is the Benefit Roller Lash. Now this mascara is notorious for being a curling one so I have not used a Benefit mascara and I don't know how long and I know that they are pretty much like really known for their mascaras so I wanted to just try this one again. This is one eye with mascara and the one without always love the difference that mascara makes truly now i am noticing that this one is kind of clumping up my lashes so before they dry i'm just separating them the best i can also gonna apply a little bit to the lower lashes and in the spirit of being inspired by these pinterest makeup looks the first one has a beautiful bright inner corner so i'm gonna just go into the highlighter and we're gonna pop a little bit of that into the inner corner and then last but not least we're going into lips and i have quite a few products here a repurchase is the huda beauty lip contour in the color sandy beige i love that one but that's a repeat offender so i literally just wanted to get back up but when i was in store i saw that fenty beauty dropped a new lip liner so here we have the fenty beauty traced out pencil lip liners and i picked up the colors extra thigh which is the deeper one and rubber bands which is the lighter one that's the deeper one and that is the lighter one now both of the girls in the inspiration Pinterest picture they both have soft lips so I think I'm gonna go with the lighter shade Wow that literally just like glides on oh I think I found 
think I found my new favorite color. Look at that. It's like your lip but better. <gasps> yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to Sephora and pick this up because I think I just found my perfect lip liner. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at that. Excuse me? And for the rest of lips, I have these four products. This Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss actually came in a set as well. That one looks really nice and super pink. The next one I also have here is this Sephora Collection Outrageous Pump Effect Lip. I think that's what it's called. That one is stunning. I think it'll look really pretty with this lip color. Next up in that bundle that I mentioned, I think it was like the Lip Sephora Favorites bundle that I did because this one also came in it and that is the Anastasia Satin Lipstick in the color Honey Taupe and I think I might actually just put that for the sake of the video to just show you what that looks like. I thought it would be, yep, I thought it would be such a good filler color like in the middle to play out with the lip liners. That is gorgeous. Now I know I have some pink on the eyes, but that works really nice together. Oh, I just love when I find a good bundle. That is absolutely stunning. And then the last item that I want to show you guys is the Tarte Plumping Lip Oil. This one is in the shade Cinnamon. That looks really stunning, but I think the one that I want to put as a topper is going to be the Sephora one because I think it'll tie it really well. So I'm just going to put a little bit, wow. <gasps> See how gloss just like elevates a whole look? Look at the top without anything. And then that, wow. And so this is the final look. This was so much fun and such a fun way to use new makeup. I, once again, am just so excited to be recreating or just being inspired by Pinterest makeup looks and utilizing the makeup that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've been shopping any new items, what's out there that you love. I'm so excited for holiday edition and holiday launches. Like, ah, so excited. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.